Okay, uh, I got a couple questions here about uh, the stretchers that I use. Uh, this guys want some patterns and that. So what I'll do is I'll give you my muskrat stretchers first. Okay. Now you can see mine are extremely long, big stretchers. Okay. I sit down at the table. I like to set them on the floor, and then I put my muskrats on. That's why I have such long ones. I have some short ones. You can see back there. I don't care for them. They're a pain in the butt to work with. Plus. That's my muskrat stretchers. Putting skunks on those. You know, small raccoons and stuff go on them too. So, anyway. Okay, so what I've done is... <clears throat> okay, first of all with a muskrat stretcher, it's two and a half inches wide each board. Okay, so five inch. So you're going to have to do is you're going to get a one by six, and then you got to plane them down to three eighths of an inch thick. Okay. You can't use three quarter inch wood. Okay, so so that's your size. You want it's just shy of two and a half. Yeah, like two and two and three eighths. Okay. Anyway, then what I've done is get yourself a pen and a paper now. And what I've done is I've marked it one inch, two inch, all the way down. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way down the stretcher because all this portion here is flat. And not until I get into the tapered end is where I'm going to give you directions. So what I'm going to do is count down inch by inch and I'll give you the dimensions out. Okay, and then you can draw your taper that way. Okay, so... Just get myself set up here a little better. Okay, I opened it up. All right, one inch. It's five eighths, two, one inch, three inch and three eighths, four inch and five eighths, five is inch and seven eighths, six is a sixteenth short of two inches, seven is two inches. 8 is 2 and an eighth, 9 is 2 and an eighth, no, nope. sorry, 8 is 2 and a sixteenth, 9 is 2 and an eighth, 10 is 2 and an eighth, yeah, and it's 2 and an eighth or so all the way down now, and then you just make that very gradual, gradual taper down from there. So when you hit about 2 and eighths, just, that's pretty much it, go straight already at that point. Okay, so that's the rat stretcher. Then what you're going to do, this is the same with all of these, the way I do it, there's other ways of doing it, is picture, you know, you got your regular piece of wood. Okay, so you're going to have this piece left over. Well, that's that piece right there. Just trim it down, make it square. And then I put two together. And this way, if you only have one, your stretcher gets all floppy sideways. You put two, and then you drill some holes in there. And then whenever you find your board size, like your muskrat size, just slide the nail in. And there you go. And that's it. And then just push the nail out after. And relax the stretcher, and your muskrat comes off. Okay? So that's how those work. Okay, so that's muskrat. And there's the fox here. Now, these fox and coyote boards I'm going to give you the measurements for. In absolutely no way, shape, or form is this what anybody says to use. Okay, I'm just going to give you the heads up on that. If you get somebody who's quote unquote in the know, who knows a bit about fur, they're going to look at these boards and they're going to say they're all wrong. Okay? I don't have any yet. I know I'm going to. A lot of fox and coyote's got to do with color. We don't have really good color fox here. Coyote, we have a few. Anyway, a number one extra pale coyote is a top lot award. I've seen a lot of them on these boards. I've never yet seen one on one of those NAFA boards or any of the other sizes or shapes that they give you. Okay, this is what I use. You don't have to use it. Uh, if you want to, you can. If not, no biggie. Okay, so fox. 
Same thing, inch by inch. Now, with the fox and the coyote, you have your first little bump, then it kind of goes straight, then you get your shoulder bump, okay? So, just that it's not a straight, you know, curve. It's got kind of a two curves in it, if that makes any sense. You can see it better than I can explain it. There, get a good look at it that way. Okay. Okay, so here's your fox. Again, inch by inch. Okay, one inch, half inch, two is one inch, three is inch and three eighths, four is inch and a half, five is inch and a half, that's five, right? Yeah, six inch and uh, it's a real small five eighths, seven is inch and five eighths. 8 is inch and 3 quarter, 9 is inch and 7 eighths, 10 is, it's a real small, oh wait, wait, that's a broken board there. Yeah, okay, that's 2 inches there, 10, 11 is 2 and a quarter, 12 is 2 and a half, 13 is 2 and 3 quarter, 14 is 2 and 7 eighths, 15 is 2 and 7 eighths, 16 is 2 and 7 eighths, and then it's pretty much that all the way down, and it just tapers. These are 1 by 4 boards, so then you just make that long gradual taper after that. But that will give you your neck, your shoulder and the head size. Okay. And then coyote are the exact same scenario, except that the neck portion is longer, okay? And everything pretty much the same. You can see again, there's that kind of a goofy shape to them. Okay. So, coyotes. And with all my coyote boards, it's the same. These are all one by fours again for your fox and coyote. And the piece that's cut off, you know, that section of it right there. I just trim it down and I put it here. Now, I do mine kind of the wrong way. Uh, I have them nailed like that. I have two again so that the stretches don't flip around. And then I just put some nails in. Uh, this is the side I nail on here. But anyway, what you can do is you can drill a few holes again and then spread your board, put the nail in, drop it down, back it up. You know, you can do that too and then you have a lot longer life out of your board instead of nailing through the board all the time. Okay, so, okay, coyotes here, again, inch by inch. I've got to split them a bit, sorry. There we go. Okay, one inch is, uh, that's three quarters, two is inch and a quarter, three is inch and a half, four is inch and five eighths, Five is inch and three quarter. Six is inch and seven eighths. Seven is a big inch and seven eighths. Eight is just shy of two inches. Nine is two inches. Ten is two and an eighth. Eleven is two and an eighth. Twelve is just a small two and a quarter. 13 is 2 and a quarter, 14 is 2 and a half, 15, yeah, that's 15 inches down is, oh, uh, that's 2 and 5 eighths, 16 is 2 and th a big 3 quarters, and uh, 17 is 3 inches, 18 is 3 and an eighth, 19 is 3 and an eighth, 20 is 3 and a quarter, and then from there, you just make a straight line down a bit. Um, I don't know if, here, here's a good example. Here is a board I just built. Okay, you can see the white portion, that's where I cut, and then you can see whereabouts I end. Okay, so that's about. Uh, roughly oh, 28 
30 inches down or so. After that, it's a regular one by four, okay? So just give you an idea, like after, once you get the neck and the head, shoulder area, then after that, just a gradual taper and go about 28, 30 inches down. And then after that, just regular one by four is down here, so. Okay, uh, raccoon. I'm not gonna give you my raccoon boards because I know they're wrong. And they're wrong, wrong for everybody. They're too fat. Um, I even have some extra, 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 super, extra large raccoons back here. Uh, my raccoons aren't quite right. I will get you the right pattern for them. But anyway, so that's muskrat, coyote, and fox. And I will get you some other ones. And keep watching the videos. I'm going into the city where the other fellow works who taught me all the skinning. And we're going to get some videos there of him sewing and some of the good stuff. And you're going to see that I'm a rookie compared to him. Keep watching. Okay, and another thing is for the noses, um, you see there's some leather. I just take old leather mitts, anything that I, you know, use and abuse. Like you can see there's holes in this one and you know, holes in there. Anyway, anything that's worn out that's leather, I just keep them. And then just take scissors and cut strips like that, okay? And that's what you use for your muskrat, your fox, your coyote, your raccoon, anything like that. And that's what the noses are made out of. It's just some old leather. You can use work gloves, anything. Any old leather you got will work.